This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, maneuvering and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. We're gonna do a, another POV. Look, I know it's not for everyone. Um, you know, it doesn't get thousands and thousands of views and that's fine, but some people do like them. And so if you are one of those who does like it, then this is for you. This is for you. Uh, I've done a, a little bit of changing around. I've been listening to um, some advice. People wanna see more of the road. Um, so in order to do that, it's very simple, but basically the mount is on my chest, but it's, the GoPro itself is right under my chin. So it's a little bit, little bit higher, ever so slightly, than it has been in the previous two POVs that I've done. Um, I've also changed the angle, not the angle, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> the wide angle. So normally I've got it on like really wide angle. They call it super views, SV. Um, I've got it on linear mode. What that means is there's less there's less wideness and more more central so i'm hoping that means you can see more of the road ahead um and i've also zoomed in ever so slightly um so let me know if it's better or not i can't guarantee it's going to be exactly like this every time but i'm hoping it's a little bit a little bit better than the um than the previous two you'll have to let me know Ah, uh, anyway, hopefully you are all okay. Today is Friday. Uh, we're actually on our way back towards the yard. We've got to go to the sawmill. No one's going, so I will. We've got to go to the sawmill, drop the trailer off, and then head back to the yard. You're not going to see any of that on this video, but that's what I've got to do. However, I'm not sure if you can see the dash or not. I'm on three hours and 50 minutes of driving. So I've only got 40 minutes left of drive time before I need to stop for a, an entire 45 minute break. Um, it's also four o'clock in the afternoon so i will have to stop very soon there's this there's a person here on the right putting his hands up i don't know why oh yeah they're friendly i thought <laughs> i thought for a second then they're having a potential dis disagreement but it's all good um so according to the sat nav in front of us on the right we've got some traffic coming up in front of us as well so we um we're going to be stopping for a break i think within the next 20 minutes or so and so i thought i'd um i'd film up until that that time basically when we start for a break that is uh what i'm hoping to do in this video also we're driving through a market town slightly different on the pov i think i've done a country lane and can't remember what else i did <laughs> but now we're going through a market town i do want to go through london with a pov as well so you can see some POV go through London, but I thought, or, or a city at least. This is the market town, so uh, we we'll get some uh, some POV of this. Plus, we will come out onto some country roads, not quite country lanes. I don't know why I'm indicating left. I don't need to indicate around it. It is a little bit snug. We're just going to take it nice and slow. Lovely. Sort of pinches here, like in the middle. So I'm just backing off letting that lorry come through and then we can go afterwards and i'm watching the pedestrian on the left because it's a little bit narrow around here not uh not majorly narrow but definitely gotta to watch left and right so yeah hopefully you've all had a fantastic week i've actually been out most of the week i was home monday night uh, and then I left Tuesday morning. Today's Friday and I've not been home since. So I am looking forward to going home. Me personally, where's this bike going? Straight on. Me personally, I won't actually be home until probably seven o'clock tonight, I expect. Um, like I said, I've got to go and, uh, I've got a flatbed on, it's empty. I've got to go drop it off at the sawmill. It's going to get loaded over the weekend. I will pick it up Monday. But once I've dropped it off, 
go back to the yard solo. I'm gonna stop. Are they waiting to cross? Are they waiting to cross? I'm gonna let them go. Um, we've got to go drop the trailer, then we've got to go to, um, well, back to the yard, but I'll probably want to go and wash the truck at the Esso garage because I will be solo, so there'll be enough room for me to get me uh, the tractor unit in all by itself. So that is what I want to do, indicate off the roundabouts. So yeah, um, that's my plan. But yeah, by the time I do all that and get home, it's going to be born at 7 o'clock tonight. But at least, at least I will be home. That's the main thing. Okay, according to the sat nav, we've got traffic in about one mile's time. I'm hoping we can get through the traffic and then we'll look to stop somewhere in a lay-by. I don't want to leave it too late. Also, I don't want to go too early because it's five past four now. If I stop for a 45 minute break right now, it means I'll be coming back out again just before rush hour. And I would very much like it if most of rush hour is gone. Um, I don't think it's gonna be the case, but we'll see. Like I said, I got, I got a good 37 minutes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get caught in the rush hour traffic no matter what. It's a bit of a rubbish time to have to stop for a break, to be honest, but not a lot we can do about that now. We just have to carry on. Okay, according to the traffic, 800 yards. I see no traffic in front of me, but sat nav is telling me there's traffic, so I am prepared to stop. Foot is off the accelerator, and I see brake lights up ahead, look now. So we start putting that engine brake on, and we start slowing down. There's a roundabout up ahead, which we need to turn right at, and it'd be, uh, it'd be traffic queuing up for that. That'd be what it is. So we've slowed down nice and uh, nice and early. Haven't touched the brakes at all. So yeah, it normally it normally backs up here a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we are approaching Zirand Boot. Started to getting right. It's a bit of a bottleneck. This traffic literally. What are you doing? <laughs> A car's just stopped on the roundabout. <laughs> what are you doing? They literally just stopped. Did you catch that? Right. Um, that threw me off then because the bus was waiting to go but couldn't because the car just stopped. We've got to take it nice and wide because the uh, trailer will catch the roundabout otherwise. Round we go, indicate off. Bang tidy. And uh, oh, we've got traffic up here as well. Though. Oh, doesn't normally queue all the way back here, mind. More traffic, just what we want on a Friday when we're trying to get home. So now that we have actually hit four hours driving time, we've got half an hour before we need to stop for a break. So pretty much the next layby we come to, um, we will stop. We've given ourselves half an hour to come up to a lay-by. I'm pretty sure there's one on here we can use, I think. So I think this traffic, I was thinking originally it's just because of this van here on the right-hand side, but vehicles are still passing each other. There's traffic lights around the corner. I think that's what it is. I think it's the traffic lights which is causing a little bit of traffic. Three, two, one. And off we go. Off we go. West Ashton. West Ashton. So yeah, we follow this road. It takes us to Chippenham via Malksham on the A350. It's a road that I use quite often, to be honest with you. I just can't for the life of me think where the next lay -by is. There are definitely lay -bys, And we will definitely reach one of them. I just can't remember which one's first for some reason cannot remember for the life of me there is a keep clear sign there but um our trailer will clear it for those of you wondering yep our trailer is clear 
so clear in fact that the uh, the van that was pulling out left is uh it's come down left look there we go you can just about see it now pray for ukraine so yeah these are the lights i was talking about these are the ones um causing the tailbacks once we get past these it's pretty much smooth sailing 26 minutes to find somewhere to park 26 minutes let's go we're still running in eco mode at the moment in this in this truck i don't know if you can quite see on the dash it says eco i'm hoping to come out of it sooner rather than later but i don't know when that's going to be but um it'd be nice to experience this truck not in eco mode because apparently it's quite a bit more powerful i find that um while i'm driving it just changes gear really early like it's like don't really feel the power on it because it's in eco mode to be honest with you um particularly when joining motorways on slip roads um and the particular slip road is like going down a hill whatever it just won't accelerate it just uses the uh the downhill gravity to build up speed slowly obviously it's more eco doing that um <laughs> but it doesn't matter what i do but I whack it in manual actually i don't know i haven't tried it in manual to be fair that's a lie but if i put my foot right down it just it doesn't do anything it's um it's like no gravity shall take us <laughs> So there's a lay-by here, it's a bit full, so I'm not going to fit in that one. Uh, actually, yes I would have. Never mind, that looks fuller than it actually was from back there. Okay, never mind, we shall, <laughs> we shall um, pop in another lay-by. Is this a lay-by? I don't think this is a lay-by, is it? This is someone's house. Yes, not a lay-by. Not a lay-by. I don't know. A part of me wants to go a little bit further, but also I don't want to risk it like last time where um, I was then blocking a lay-by entrance, which some people know me as now on TikTok. They didn't know of me beforehand, but now that I'm, I'm known as the guy that blocks lay-bys. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's quite funny. I had to get a break in. Legally had to stop. We've got a tractor in front of us as well. We're catching up. You can see his beacons. And also there's more traffic a mile and a, a mile and a half away on the Saturn Avenue. You see a red symbol. That means there's traffic. These lights just turn green. Will they go back to red by the time we get there? That's the question. Tra tractors turn left. That's good. Come on then, cars. Let's, let's go. Uh, I thought that red car was going to smash into the other one then. This is the annoying thing, right? When lights turn green, it's, then it just the reaction time is like a train of reaction time. The time the last car goes, like the the first car left bloody seconds ago, and uh, that can literally be the difference between making a green light and it changing back red again. Yeah, if, if every car takes half a second to a second to react, you know, by the time there's ten cars back, it's a bit annoying. One of my bugbears. I'm sure there's lots of stuff I do which is bugbears to people. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. If, is there anything I do that annoys you? <laughs> okay, apparently there's traffic 800 yards away over this crest of a hill. So we're going to start backing off. I see no one braking yet. Possibly just round this corner then. Still see no brake lights. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just keeping an eye on brake lights, making sure traffic is flowing. There's no point getting up to 50 miles an hour if I've got to stop again. Uh, still no brake lights, so we're going to let the engine brake off. We're slowly rolling. Now I see brake lights. So again, I knew there was traffic before I saw there was traffic. using the engine brake on the truck to bring me to a stop. May need to dab the brakes a little bit. Yes. And all it is is there's just a roundabout up ahead, 500 yards. 
Okay, this traffic is now easing up. Again, it was just this roundabout. Got one car coming around, two cars coming around, three cars coming around. And clear, let's go. And indicate off. Yeah, so um, that was causing that bit of traffic. Again, we've got more traffic in a mile and a half. That's probably at another roundabout as well. <laughs> um, we have 19 minutes to find somewhere to park. So, yeah, literally the next lay-by we come to, we, um, we've got to park up. If they're open, I think it's going to be a lay-by in Chippenham. I can't remember if they're open or not. I can't remember if they're open or not. We'll see when we get there. Okay, we're now joining on to some more traffic, I think. Is it just up the road? Yeah, it's just up the road. I thought it was backing off then up to here, but it's not. So we're 13 miles away from the M4. Like I said, I know there's a couple of laybys before, before then. It's just wherever we could park in here. <laughs> okay, welcome to Melksham. I used to live in Corsham and uh, we did our shopping in Melksham when me and my now wife first got our place together. Council flat. Lived in, uh, in Corsham, right next to the MOD base actually. Actually, technically, we lived in Neston, next to MOD Corsham. And. Uh, yeah, we did all our shopping in um, in Malksham. Oh, got lots of traffic. Lots of queuing up on the left here when both lanes go straight over. So I think, <laughs> I think we'll take full advantage of this lane. Because <laughs> I know, local knowledge, <laughs> both these lanes go straight over. And, uh, you know, we do need to find somewhere to park. We don't want to be... Uh, Interfering with this container lorry, mind you. Roundabout is not exactly big enough for two lorries. Wait for him to go first. All clear for me. We've got one car on the left, it's a Mini. We're gonna keep an eye on him, or her. Because now two lanes merge into one. There we go. We just beat quite a bit of traffic doing that. Perfectly legal. And uh, I eased the flow of traffic by not uh, causing more of a delay for others behind me. Okay, tachograph is now flashing, saying break. I need a break. I am starting to, <laughs> I'm starting to wish I stopped um, in that layby back there, not gonna lie. This traffic is uh, slowing me down somewhat. Probably should have stopped in that lay by about there. From uh, from <laughs> from what I saw, it looked full. Didn't look like there was enough room for me until I got there, and then I couldn't get in in time. I couldn't slow down quick enough without uh, interfering with the vehicles behind. But I wish I parked there now. Just trying to think in my head the next place I can stop. I'm hoping the Levi's in Chippenham are open. Okay, round this roundabout we go. That is the truck thinking I was going to hit something. <laughs> that was the collision, collision warning. It does that a few times. Actually, um, I was on the motorway earlier and they thought I was going to hit something. There was nothing in front of me. It was in lane two. And uh, it didn't slam on the brakes, but it, it did slow me down. So yeah, you've got to be a bit mindful of it. A little bit mindful. I can hear sirens. Maybe not. I thought I heard sirens then. Sometimes it's the truck itself. Like the turbo it happens on the other trucks I've driven as well, like just a little whining noise. Sounds like a bit of a distant siren, like from an emergency vehicle. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. My saving grace 
is if there's a lay-by between now and Chippenham. I can't remember. I know there's one on the other side of the road. I'm pretty sure there is. I just can't remember if there's one on this side of the road. It opens up now to national speed limit and that's where we're going to see a lay-by if we are going to see one. I can't remember if there is one or not. We would have got to where I wanted to stop if it wasn't for the traffic. It messes us up a little bit. All the traffic's been after that original label that I should have stopped in. Right, so that's the label on the other side of the road that I knew of. Just there. I can't recall seeing one on this side. Okay, passing Laycock. Whoa. Well, that was a van that just cut in front of me. Cheers, mate. Okay, five minutes to go. This is um, annoying because I should have stopped on that lay bike. I know I keep saying it. <sighs> Really should have stopped on that lay-by. We've got some coming up. I just can't remember if they're open or not because there's roadworks happening down here. If they're not open, we're going to go over. Okay, we're on four hours and 28 minutes of drive time. We've got two minutes left to find somewhere to park up. Now, there used to be a lay-by just up here on the left. If it's open, we're gonna dart in. If it's closed, we're gonna go over. Okay, it is open and we're going to go on in. <laughs> and and we're going to block a lay by. <laughs> um, I need a full on 45 minute break so uh, what I'm going to do is put it on break now. I'll have a 15. If one of these move, I will then move forward, which is something a lot of people said I should have done in the last time I blocked a lay-by. But um, the last time I blocked a lay-by, I only needed 30. So yeah, we made it on 429 again. I seem to have a habit of parking up on 429. I don't know why, but we're in the lay-by anyway. We're off the carriageway. Uh, unlike the other lay-by, if, so, if someone did come in, they could always just drive on that and get around me if they had to. Uh, so they don't have to like reverse back onto the carriageway or anything. But yeah, as soon as one of these lorries move, I'll, um, I'll move forward. Anyway, anyway, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this POV. I'm annoyed I didn't stop at that earlier lay-by. But, you know, it is what it is. We've stopped here now. We'll have a 45 minute break here. Uh, or 15 and then move once one of these trucks move. Or, actually, if one of these trucks move, I'll move straight away to Mars and then we'll restart the break. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe. Stay safe. Don't block their place. See you soon. Bye-bye.